Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to use MailChimp tags and why they are so useful in email campaigns. Now, you might be asking yourself, why would I want to use tags if I just send out email campaigns? Well, tags are extremely useful to segment your email campaigns. Now, I'll give you a quick example. Let's just say that we have a job form, and in that job form, we're asking our users, clients, or friends if they are male or female. Well, if we tag someone that's male or female, we first know what gender they are, and secondly of all, let's just say that we're a clothing store and we want to send out an email campaign. Well, why don't we just send out an email campaign to men because we're using that tag. And that way we're going to segment on MailChimp using that tag, sending out emails just to men. So we're gonna send out promotional clothing that's based for men and that way we can segment. That's just one way you can use tags, but there's several ways that we can use them and we'll show you a couple of them on this video. So let's go jump over to JotForm to show you how to integrate and use MailChimp tags. This is the JotForm dashboard. Let's get started by creating a brand new form. So let's go into create a form. And in this case, we'll start from scratch and we'll select a classic form. You can use card form if you like. This is just an example. So let's drag in some elements. Let's ask for the name and we'll ask for, let's drag in the element for drop down and another one for multiple choice. So the drop down question would be gender. We're gonna ask for that question and we're gonna say male or female. We'll keep it simple. And for questions, which we'll ask, for example, what color? What is your favorite color? Okay, that's gonna be the question. And the first one will be, for example, white, blue, red, and green. Okay, keep it simple. And last but not least, the email. Okay, simple form. Now, let's integrate with MailChimp. Um, obviously, to integrate, we first need to have a MailChimp account. So let's go into settings, integrations, and let's search for MailChimp. There we go. Let's click on it, and we're going to authenticate. So it's gonna ask us to log in for the first time. So let's go ahead and log into our account. Okay, let's allow access to job forms so they connect with each other. So let's click on allow and now it's integrated. So let's choose a list. In this case, I only have one list on MailChimp. If I had several lists, we would view them displayed right here. So let's select that and we can also select interest group, job form, but let's focus on tags. So this is the tags from MailChimp. Now we see a few tags down here. These tags were pulled from MailChimp because these tags were already used. And I can tag someone from this list if I want to select, for example, giveaway or the old or new or all three if I like. So for example, I'll use the tag for new if I want to keep that, if I want to use static tags. So that's something that I tag it and it's gonna add it every single time that someone fills out the form. It's gonna be tagged with new or the one I select there. Now remember, these tags will display depending on tags that you already have on MailChimp. But let's go into dynamic tagging. This is where it becomes more interesting. So for example, if I want to tag people depending on the elements that we have on JotForm, in this case, I'll use the element for gender. Remember, we were asking if it's male or female. Well, it's gonna use that element to add the tag on MailChimp, okay? And next thing we have, it's match your fields. So for example, email is tied to email, and that way MailChimp recognizes that it's the email field. We can add another field, so for example, for the full name, and we'll tie it with name, okay? Let's go ahead and complete this integration, and let's test it, and then we'll do another one, okay? So let's go ahead and finish. Let's go into publish. Let's open in a new tab. And I'll fill this out really quickly. I'll say Luis Lopez, all right? And the gender, we'll say he's male. 
favorite color and the email we'll just say test at test.com um, i might have used this before so we'll say test one two three let's go ahead and submit it okay it has been submitted now let's head over to our mailchimp account to see if that contact has been added and tagged with mail so let's go into mailchimp here we go let's go into our audience here you go let's view our audience and here's the latest form that we, we just filled out there's an email Luis Lopez and the tags so he has been tagged with mail now there's also more options with the elements remember we had the color display so if we select the color display let's go back into our settings integrations mailchimp edit the integration we have again dynamic tagging well, let's choose what is your favorite color so now it's going to grab the tag from favorite color instead of the gender so let's complete integration okay there we go finish let's go ahead publish let's go test it again so we view it and again we'll say this one is danny lopez and gender we'll say mail again and we're gonna say his favorite color is blue and let's add a test email 321 at test.com let's go ahead and submit it there we go it has been submitted now let's go to mailchimp okay here's mailchimp let's go ahead and refresh our audience there we go test 321 at test and he's danny lopez and the tag is blue now you're gonna be asking yourself okay so now i understand that i can tag based on the answer they respond or if I select static tagging. Okay, what can I do with these tags? Like I mentioned before, there's several use cases to segment your email campaigns to make them even better, okay? So let's go into campaigns and let's create a new campaign. This is just for demo purposes. We'll design an email. Okay, and right now it's all contacts. So let's edit recipients right here. And we can say the audience from our job form. Remember, if we have more audience, we would view them right here. But the audience on job form segment to a tag. So now we have these tags available. We had our static tags that we used before. And we also have the one we just used, which is male and blue. When the submissions come in with male, female, and the other colors, you would view all those tags there. So let's just say, okay, it's male. Now it's only going to send out the email campaign to the email contacts that have the male tag on it. That way we can segment the email. So like I mentioned before in the example, if this was a clothing store, well, I would send the promotional email to males and a different one to females because I'm going to display for them different type of clothing, different type of promotions. And it's just going to depend on the tags that we have, how we're going to segment that campaign. Well, that is how you use MailChimp tags on Jotform. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.